Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Still a, uh, a Fiora angle. We'll see whether Zayas does want to pull the trigger. Ah, oh, yeah, Yasuo makes the most sense. Yeah, 100%. Could okay. be... Oh, they're locking it in. Never mind. <laughs> it's... All right. Like, buddy, I, I just left. No need. <laughs> The double scuttle is going to come through here for T1 as Carrier. Bubble hit. get bubbled. Exactly. There's the flash forward. Envy looking for the second kill as well as First Blood goes to Kyle. Oh, bit of a disaster here for T1 on the bottom side. And the Live Sandbox bottom lane just continuing to blow my mind. Uh, owner is over here, but with enough minions here, I don't think he can actually pull this off. Stops his back. Oh, Kyle. Oh dear. The Act bubble. Prison is pretty good, but still going to be the kill going over to the Vi. So they even things out, but first Blood Gold still there. It's like Gold lead, a lot of this in the Yasuo lane on the top side of the map. A little bit of jungle advantage here too for Owner. And he's picked up that kill, but this is exactly what you want with this Lucian comp, as Willer was so far away that there's no way he flash Cyclones, although now he's seen. Yeah, there's the flash forward. Carrier gets the Polymorph down as Envy. Can he get flashed on Gumushi? Desperately wanting to get and he'll pick it up. The final burst fire is going to get there, but now the Cyclone doing a bunch of work. Gumushi trying to kite it out, but it's not the going bubble. to work. Oh, the bubble's so good! As Kyle's got three kills so far this game, is that going to be the fourth? No, it's not. He is going to give one over to his jungler as well. Raid boss Nami. Look at uh, all at the this point in time. Look at all the vision they have here too around this rig. They have one at the entrance of the river, two control wards, one towards any rooms down. Yeah. There. Still relatively useful in this this comp, but definitely not the one you wanted. No. Uh, as now Gumushi just dashing forward. Another bubble is of course going to land because Kyle doesn't miss those. As finally, Envy's going to pick up a kill here in this bottom lane. Word itself, they're grouped for this. Well, can T1 actually get this wrap around as Kyle? Not going to be the target. I thought he might be because he's so fed as Envy's going to be able to get out of there. Close up, finding the angles. No perfect execution. Going to come through. The Asuo's dead already. Gumushi trying to stand his ground, but it doesn't work. Yo, Double Atlas. kill now for the Wukong, and I think Liv Sandbox. But there are so there's so much peel between the Cyclone and that Nobby ultimate closer looking for a solo kill. Emperor's Divide goes completely wide as Faker, he has the ability to walk over the wall. Closer, not so much. He's in the Thunderdome with all of these Sand Soldiers. Now trying to get these Qs to land as there's the backflip, and that's the solo kill. Uh, this game is looking off the rails. This has become a very difficult game for T1. I mean, that's Cullen. in a turret. Ow. Sub 20, Envy's just pressing ult to kill a turret. Thank you. I'm out. Yeah, the Oof. world where I do need to make that statement. As, all right, Ona is going to come in, see whether they can actually protect this. As Zayas, in a whole bunch of trouble, he's just going to get taken down. As Ona as well, going to be eviscerated as Closer just cleaning up the backline. Perfect execution is beautiful. As Faker is going to push the Akali into Gumiyushi. He has to flash, does manage to make it out as Faker grabs the kill. On to Closer, flashes out as well. I mean, it was a sick play from Faker, but everybody else is dead, guys. This, this game looks now like he doesn't have it. Now he has to back because he's flashless. And they could do both this Drake and the Baron. And T1 tried to do, you know, trademark T1 play. Like, oh, we're going to sneak a Baron, but there's vision around there. They're top out of turret. They're going to lose their outer turret, but very difficult for Liv Sandbox to start Baron without that Cyclone. Now we'll see if they feel with Sandbox the... do need to try and figure out a way to close the distance. As close, he's got an idea. He's thinking, I'll just kill this Yasuo. And he does so. It's going to be Willa grabbing the kill credit for it. Vertle's on the bottom side of the map, but uh, it's now a 4 versus. Vertle's going to show up. That means it's a 4v5. Owner is going to be here. He could theoretically get in for a steal, but look at this. The positioning's fantastic. Vertle's there to try and get the Nara as he dives over the wall. The wallop is just so good, and they were so prepared for the turn. It was beautifully done. Closer dives on top of Faker one more time. Five-point strike. That's the ace. And Liv Sandbox will win game one. Liv Sandbox over and over and over again. And Kyle, 3 1 and 13 on this Nami. Almost 100% kill contribution in this game. The guy was nuts. He hit the bubbles. T1 made some risky plays from behind, and now it's one man against them all. Yeah, this is the Yasuo's that I'm used to seeing. Uh, we thought it was enemy team Yasuo. It was my team Yasuo in the end, as these Nexus turrets not long for the world. But this was basically flawless League of Legends from, uh, from Liv Sandbox. You know, it's it, just it, insane. Every time Liv Sandbox upsets a team or gets a win like this, there's always this, well, it was a bit of an off day for team.